um, because I enjoy it, because it makes me think like I'm doing something good and keeping myself fit. Um, jury's out to whether it actually helps me lose weight, but psychologically, I think it does. And um, yeah, I just really enjoy it. I grew up here in Falmouth, so I've swam on the beach every summer, um, but I always wanted to swim every single day or, or all through the year. Um, then in 2020, um, a local lady founded a Facebook group um, called She Swims. A friend tagged me in and in November, I put a post on there just saying, anyone swimming tomorrow morning? And three other ladies said yes. And we met here on Swampool on the 9th of November, 2020, and um, had a swim. And the lady who founded the group actually came and said hello to us, took pictures of us swimming. And I couldn't believe how amazing it felt um, and how warm the water was in November. Um, and those three ladies have become really good friends and um, we meet up regularly. I go sea swimming because uh, it gives me a huge stress relief. Um, it, when you get into the water, you can only think about the sea and your surroundings and uh, nature and look at the skies and everything else just sort of drifts away, puts everything into perspective. Um, and it's, it's quite healthy, I think. Um, certainly, it gets addictive, certainly, but uh, yeah, it's enjoyable. How did I come across sea swimming? I started sea swimming as soon as I moved down to Cornwall. Uh, swimming's always been my big, big passion and my favourite sport. So it was just a natural progression from the pool to the sea for me, really. Um, start in the summer and just keep going. Recently, I've done a couple of sponsored swims. I've been raising money for prostate cancer because it's uh, very, very special to me to swim for prostate cancer. Uh, the first one last year was just to swim through the winter, which I did. This year, I challenged myself to swim 100 kilometers in the sea or open water and managed to do that by the end of 2023. Uh, so it's mainly for sponsorship, but it's also for fitness, I guess, it's really important to me as well. And I'm not one to go to the gym or run either, so fitness and to raise money for charities. You need to really acclimatise yourself, so start when the sea's at its warmest, which is sort of March, April time. Um, you don't have to have expensive equipment, but I would suggest buying water shoes because of the, you never know what's under your feet these days, um, and weaver fish stings are horrible. Um, make sure you go with somebody who has done it before or join a group who can give you advice. And um, yeah, start small. My first advice would be start in the summer. Um, get yourself used to beaches, then reach out to other people. Don't go in on your own. There's lots of groups in and around all the towns around the coast in Cornwall. And if there are rivers, if you're inland, there are always groups you can reach out to. There'll always be somebody there who wants to swim with you and just have fun.